actually the first event and the launch of the Literary Trail. So um, the next event coming up after this one is going to be Walking in My Mother's Shoes. It'll be at the uh, Rosso at JW Mary Resort and Spa. Walking in My Mother's Shoes is its fifth year this year, and we're really all excited for those around the room that have been involved in it. And it's a really interesting perspective on mothers and a really interesting perspective on, on using all the other meters like poetry and writing and art <coughs> to say, you know, about our mothers and what does it mean to us. It was the brainchild of Crucio Bowers, who, her mother had died a number of years ago and her mother has actually been in a concentration camp. And what her legacy was to, um, well, not Crucio's legacy was to um, her and her sister was her mother's clothes and her mother's shoes. And Krisha being the phenomenal artist she is, she said to herself one day, how can I honor my mother? How can I walk in her shoes? You know, this woman's been in the concentration camp, what can I do? So, hence, walking in my mother's shoes, and we're so excited with it. Please come along. It's on Mother's Day weekend, which yeah. is a nice connection. And plus, on the Saturday morning, um, Krisha will be available to do some spirit paint, and I believe that's a free workshop. Yeah, thanks to be able to do some more. Thank you. Thank you. Julie Murray, from the Lake Brown School District School Board. This is the second year that we've been able to talk here with them. So we should talk. Sorry, Jim. We have their fourth annual symposium for First Nation Métis at Inuit Education. We have well-known author David Bouchard, who's a Métis author. Uh, he's very uh, accomplished in the Native group. And part of the presentation will be a talk about literacy as well as uh, performance on Native groups. The tickets are available on the Marine Case website right now. Um, they're only $5. It's expensive, but we really would love to have Thanks very much. Um, then we're going to be having uh, the CFUW Authors Event. This is the 13th or 14th year. I'm sorry, I forget that we have brought an author to Muskoka. Uh, this year, it's Captain Ray Weiss, a medical doctor with the Canadian Forces who is writing about his experiences in Afghanistan. His one book is FOB Dog, Forward Operating Base Doctor. And I believe he will speak to his experiences there and explain to us why we're there. Uh, and that <coughs> is at, going to be on Friday, May the 13th at the Reen Case Theatre. So then the next event coming up, uh, May 27th to 29th, is Wings Over Muskoka, which is a birding, wildlife, and art event at the Russell and J.W. Americans at the Spa. And um, we want to actually add a little bit more of a literary focus this year. We do have a couple of authors, um, but we are still looking for more, so I'm putting that out to the broader community. If you or if you know anyone who would like to participate in that, please see me later or have people get in touch with me. My name is Andrea Binkley, and I'm on the Chautauqua Reading Circle Committee. And it's my proud duty for a job to announce our signature event for this year. It will take place uh, on June the 3rd to the 5th, at uh, the J.W. Marriott Hotel in uh, Jeanette is a literary weekend featuring Lyndon McIntyre, we say, and friends. We will be having an Aboriginal festival, children's festival. Flavors of Muskoka tickets are now on sale. But I would like to um, introduce uh, Linda and Jack Hutton, who really need no introduction in this country, for <laughs> sure. And they're going to talk about their involvement on the literary trail. It's a real pleasure for Ballas Museum to be part of the literary trail this year. And we're having uh, an event on July 23rd of Lucy Maud Montgomery, in quotation marks, coming back to Bella. It's a reenactment of her 89th anniversary of arriving in Bella, at which time she both started to write The Blue Castle, a love story set in Muskoka. So we call the day Everything Anne. So I'm inviting you, and if you have grandchildren, to come because we have a lot of Anne things. <laughs> Um, we're doing sack races, we're doing three-legged races, egg on a spoon races, and if you come dressed as a character out of uh, one of Lucy, Ma Lucy Ma Montgomery's novels, you may just win a prize. Oh. Later on, on August uh, 18th, we're having, uh, Jack and I have spent probably eight years of our life trying to recreate a, a movie that has been lost, a silent 1919 Anna Green Gables movie. We've been able to collect movie stills, Jack has the authentic piano music that was used for the silent movie. And I become the narrator, uh, very surprising, Anne Green Gables movie, because if that's your favorite book, the movie doesn't follow it at all. And it's much more 
like tie her to the railway tracks and, and <laughs> the train <laughs> so, so we'd love to see you there and that's at Cleveland's house. Is there anyone here from the Stoke Lakes Museum? They will also be participating with the um, National Alcuin Society uh, Awards for Excellence in Book Design. They're going to actually be displaying um, this year's awards at the museum uh, during the month of August and September. And uh, two of their lecture series will be connected with the trip. Justine's here from the Northward Festival. It's happening in the fall. This is the second year for the Northwards um, School of Literary Festival. But this year we're really excited to have Margaret Atwood coming. Yeah. We'll have an evening with Margaret Atwood. Um, and then throughout the rest of the weekend, it's a full weekend event, uh, the first weekend in October, um, mostly in Huntsville. Uh, we have a couple of representatives from Canada Reads. So we have um, uh, Terry Pallas and Lawrence Hill. Very exciting. We have uh, Richard B. Wright coming. Uh, we have oh, Tish Cohen coming. We have Camilla Give, Kathy oh. Buchanan. We have Claudia Day coming to oh. spice it up a little bit. She's uh, the sex columnist from the oh. uh, Logan Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Ed Lawrence coming as well, which is So, and that's what we have confirmed so far. We still have other authors that are probably going to be involved. So, we'll roundtable discussions, we're going to have readings, we're going to have workshops. Uh, we are also inviting a number of um, representatives from publishers and uh, literary agents to work with local authors on tips on how to get published. There is some information on our website, northwords.org, but there's going to be a whole heap more as the Thank you all for coming. Um, this is going to be really an exciting uh, first literary trail and big literary this season. Um, of course, the, the original Muskoka Chautauqua was known as Canada's literary summer capital, so um, we're moving back in that direction. Now. We're really thrilled with our new banner. And um, I just want to mention the fact that at the bottom it says how grateful we are to the um, Ontario Cultural Attractions Fund for funding the marketing for this uh, wonderful trail. Oh, is it in the first year?